Maybe he just doesn't have enough help at wide receiver. Maybe uh maybe their Are scheming you kidding me? isn't good enough. He has plenty of help. He is just not good. He's got Jamal Agnew, bro. I guess he was hurt for the last game of the season, but he had Jamal Agnew. He's got Zay Jones, dude. Yeah. What more does he need? Evan Ingram. One of the greatest like tight ends him. ever. I, I like Evan Ingram, but better than Travis Kelsey. Totally. Christian Kirk. Travis Kelsey's legacy forever tarnished because he didn't get in a thousand yards this year. Forever tarnished. And it was his own Not decision. A Hall of Famer. Not a Hall of Famer. Can't make it. Remove him from all Pro Bowls and all Pro <laughs> teams. Remove his Super Bowls and kick him out of the league. I mean, that's a little harsh, but. Tarnished. There's nothing to do with Taylor Swift. Should it's just the fact that he didn't get it. Forever be <laughs> a black star by his name. Yeah. A little asterisk on the paper. Black ink. Well, who else were frauds this weekend, guys? We already talked about Eagles, and I, we don't need to spend too much time on the Jags. Much well, much Nobody like, else? much like the Eagles, the Dolphins, big frauds, uh, big time frauds, big frauds. I want to I want to point this out before we get guys. into the actual game. <laughs> before we get into the actual game, the Dolphins are, uh, against teams who are five hundred or above this year. They're one in five with a negative 91 point differential. Good God. They are horrific against teams who actually win games. They're not the Broncos, good. The Broncos weren't that far under uh, 500 this year. They weren't 500 nope. when they played. I know. They were not. So it doesn't count at that point, does it? They, uh, nope. They didn't finish with a win. I think record. they. That's what I'm still saying. They the Broncos aren't that far under 500, though, guys. Like, they won some of their games. They put 70 on his bitch ass. <laughs> are, you, are you calling Denver good because they beat us? Yeah. <laughs> Best division okay. of football guy. <laughs> Get it right, man. <laughs> I, what's what's in store for the Dolphins? They're injured completely. Jalen Ramsey uh, was handed a Pro Bowl spot for absolutely no reason because uh, he was burnt toast all night against the Bills. Uh, Chubb is out. Like they, they're injury riddled. To a, they lost two linebackers. Most accurate, most accurate quarterback in the league. To a just, I. He really is, guys. He is the most – he doesn't miss a pass. It doesn't matter if it's not to his own team. Like, he just doesn't miss passes. He's always going to hit the open guy. I was say, that was a beautiful pass. Yeah. Went straight to his hands. Yeah, like, where the fuck are you going with this? <laughs> no, I mean, it's going to be multiple hard to beat interceptions them. Them. It's, it's going to be hard to beat them twice because of all the motivation that comes along with is this it? game. Is but, it? The candy ass dolphins come into the cold weather or Kansas City. You know how do you know how down I am Christ. on the Chiefs this year? And I think we're going to absolutely Yes, I know how down you're not even a them. fan this year. Like I don't want to hear I'm, your shit on the Chiefs. And we're okay? and the Chiefs are gonna kill the Dolphins. They don't stand a chance. I don't I don't need you fucking jinxing us, okay? Like why don't you just simmer down a little bit? All right. This is the one of the few games that I am confident in, in us winning in the playoffs. Tyreek Hill's going to have, like, 200 yards. He's going to have, like, four because LJ is going to be lined up on him. LJ's not fast enough to cover him, man. <laughs> LJ covered him in the first game. What happened? He didn't have four yards. Nothing. He Yeah, he had more than four yards. He had, like, 80-something. What do you have? <laughs> I, you sure about that? No, I'm not, but fuck off. <laughs> you sure about that? I think he had 62. I just as a as a fan, I don't want the energy of taking the Dolphins lightly to rub off on the team. So I need to I just need to pull that back a little bit and be like, they are a legitimate opponent. It is the playoffs. It is the playoffs. It is the playoffs. They're a legitimate opponent for sure. And the NFL but has just decided to they're just they're, like, just they're a little banged up. 
Hopefully NFL has decided to screw this game two times in the same season. Because Tyreek yeah. is it's the homecoming in Kansas City, right? It's the home game. You're supposed to be there. What happens? They tell us to fuck off to Germany. We don't want this game here in America. We want this game at 9 o'clock when nobody's watching. It would be too good for TV. <laughs> what this game? Nobody should watch this one. We're like, you know what? We actually need to rewrite this script because Tyreek needs to play in Kansas City after they just got murdered and Tyreek was the reason they lost the game. He needs to get redemption and it needs to be in Kansas City. So let's just ride him back in there. Except now, we're going to put this one behind a paywall because fuck all of you. We don't care about the fans. Pay us more money. Is I job, NFL. I'm legally streaming that, NFL. Thank you. Knock down my door. I fucking dare you. Take this shit in blood. It's a problem. They're going to start charging for all the playoffs now, man. That's why we need to boycott this bullshit. Don't pay for this shit. Do not pay for it unless you already have Peacock like me. Well, He's I, already paying for have, it. I do have Peacock, so like, well, I, I, I get to watch it just because I have Peacock, or I thought you said I have to I buy the game on Peacock. No, no, no. It's not pay-per-view. Like, if you have Peacock, then you can watch it. Oh. Well, yeah, I have Peacock. But th- what they're Let doing is they're in, saying... What they're doing is is if you don't have Peacock already, then they're making you buy a subscription at least for the month. And then you have it. But month? still, we don't want this. We don't want this. Buy a week yeah. subscription. Nope. Can't can't get a day subscription. They're not gonna they're not gonna let a one time free month nothing. All right. So even if hey, even though I have run me Peacock, my money, I will still be illegally streaming this game. <laughs> <laughs> Out of principle. You're not getting my view. I, yeah, I, I'm not the Dolphins. I was scared at the beginning of the year and then seeing them just blow it every single time. The one thing I would say is like, go back to the Dallas game. They played them really, really strong. They only lost by really like, 22 to 20. Oh, they played a very strong and solid game, but then they lost everybody to injury in that game, and now they're here. Yeah, and here's not a not good place where they want to be. And where, where's your, what's, your, what's your favorite quote about injuries, Ty Bob? Best ability is availability. There we go. Yeah, if you go. can't be on the field, you're worthless. <laughs> exactly. But don't forget, they're also in Miami. Where it's seventy seven. How how warm is it down there in Orlando? I it's uh, so it's probably a little warmer down there. But we had we had upper sixties today. Upper sixties. Uh, so it's probably over the weekend. It's probably seventies like in Miami. Maybe a little bit warmer. Yeah, you know what the temperature of the game is going to be on Saturday night? Zero in Kansas City. Again. <laughs> Zero. Good good fucking luck, Miami. You guys are going to get shit stomped. I, I don't like that energy from you. I really don't. I it sounds so wrong like right now. Knuck if you buck, dude. <laughs> what? Snickers. I tell you what, Team Knucks, because they're buck. The Stillers. All right. I don't know what kind of Ooh. transition that was, Ooh. but that was a good one. I liked it. Three straight seasons of a negative point differential. And still having a winning record. I mean, that's that's a let's feat. go, Mike Tomlin. That's a feat, man. Seventeen years. Just take a minute. Just take a minute, folks. <laughs> Seventeen years. Seventeen seasons with ten ten plus one seasons with not always the best players. The Steelers have had some bad dudes. Mason Rudolph, you're one of them. You suck, dude. Kenny Pickett, you're another one. You suck, dude. Najee Harris may be one of the worst running backs I've seen in the NFL. Dog, he took over that game. He's the reason that the Steelers won. Would you call this one of Mike Talman's best coaching seasons or one of his worst coaching seasons? Listen, I, I feel like since he's lost Big Ben, granted, they, they've got a decent defense. They've always kind of had a decent defense, and T.J. Watt's a big reason for that. But the offensive roster – that this team has slapped together since Big Ben has been gone. It's so it's nothing short of a miracle that this team can pull off a winning record. So I think he needs a nod for that. But 
since a couple years after Cower left, like when's when's like when's his meaning meaningful football been played in the playoffs? Hardly ever. I think it's a little bit of both for him, honestly. I mean, it started off pretty good. You got into the uh, thick of it all. You have Mitchell Trubisky starting there for a little bit. That's his, that's bad, Mike Tomlin coaching. He figured it out. He put Mason Rudolph in. That's that's good, Mike Tomlin coaching right there. He figured it out all in one season, and that's kind of scary for the number two seed Bills going into the playoffs next week. You don't want a good Mike Tomlin coach and figuring it out right before the playoffs. Well, especially when Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs are not on the same page, and Josh Allen is an absolute turnover machine, Man, worse Gabe than Davis he has Scudder. been in previous years. And Gabe Davis, who knows how long he's going to be out? Like that's that's not a that's not a very comfortable look for for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That might be like a three nothing game. That'll be fun. But good job for Mike Tomlin. Uh, that that game, uh, we knew what was going to happen. Uh, good job. Congratulations, Mike Tomlin. 17 great years of 500 or better. Hey, I'd do like you guys him know what was going next. on at the end of the Colts game? Coach. Why Jonathan Taylor wasn't in there on the very last play? Like, No, I don't. Why? Yeah, why was good, Gooden? Why was Gooden in there? I have no idea, but Jonathan Taylor was having a monster game the whole entire night. You don't put him in the biggest play of the game. I was I was watching the game with my wife, and I was like, oh, we were playing some cards, getting ready to leave wherever we were at. I said, all right, hang on, there's there's a minute left. I didn't realize it was fourth and one until they snapped it, and I go, oh, I need to see this. And he just drops a wide open pass. It was an awful pass from the Mississippi mud flap himself. Uh, I look over to Lex. He dropped it. I was like, "Why? Where, where's Jonathan Taylor?" And she goes, "Well, he's on the sideline. She noticed it before I did." I was like, "What happened? I don't know if it was injury, breather. What happened? Why Zach Moss wasn't in? Like, you got those two guys. You need to put one of them in." Is Zach Moss not still hurt right now? Pretty sure he he's played. Oh, okay. I thought he was banged up. Uh, and I just want to point out that uh, if we converted Ty Bob and his wife Lexi to Madden players, her awareness rating would be higher than his. <laughs> they know what. <well. laughs> <laughs> you got you got all the intangibles, but your awareness is shit. <laughs> That's why I spend time in the film room. I got to get better at that. <laughs> But how about C.J. Stroud leading the Texans to the playoffs in his first year in? This is something special. He needs he needs credit, but I I think I give more credit to D'Amico Ryan's. Oh, absolutely! What that guy has done to turn around that team. I think it was a big culture issue that was going on down there, especially with whatever was going on with Deshaun Watson. Um, the the Houston Texans have had up and down years. Um, but their highs have been pretty high without a Super Bowl win, and their lows have been some of the lowest. And I thought he brought in some good consistency. We'll have to see long term what that means for for Houston. But I think he can be that lev- that Mike Tomlin esque sort of coach down there in Houston, just keeping things level, never too Why, high, never he's too black, low. Ty Bob, really, dude? Yes, that's on, where man. you're going to go with it. I was going more Mike Vrabel, honestly, former player. Tough as nail defense. He gets player. yeah. No, I mean you're not wrong, but I'm thinking I'm thinking of like levels because because Mike because Vrabel gets <laughs> Vrabel gets pretty high up there. He gets pretty intense. He talks about like cutting his dick off or to win a Super Bowl. I don't think D'Amico Ryan's would say that. So you don't know. Yeah, Mike you Vrabel asked D'Amico was... that. <laughs> you have not what asked that, Ryan's of? that. I said Mike Vrabel's <laughs> wild, bro. <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike Vrabel. I don't know if I would want to play for him. Like he's wild. <laughs> <laughs> He puts pads on and still goes to players. Like, mm, no thanks. I'm good, coach. But, yeah, all joking aside, not just because he's black. D'Amico Ryans, I mean, as as long as they keep decent staff, they rotate that roster like the Steelers have done. They've, you know, after losing A.B., 
they brought in, you know, decent skill players. So there's a lot of shit that has to go right for that sort of long-term success to happen. But Hey, you got a, you got a rookie quarterback that looks like he's about to have a hell of a career. So it's, it's a great place to start. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I think this Houston team could probably go. I, I'd be I'd wonder who their matchup is going to be in the second round. I don't think I, I think it'd be really tough for them, depending on who their matchup is and in, in, in this in the divisional round to make an AFC championship. But they're a team that would not surprise me should they make the AFC championship game. I wouldn't a... be surprised with even without Tank Dell and and that just means like hey they've got a lot more room to work going into next year as well. I think that it's you a little premature on, for them. Sleep on Nico too much, darn. Yeah, way Nico's too much. Nice. Oh, I'm not discounting Nico. I'm just saying I really like Tank Dell. I all season. Even before the season mm-hmm. started. Well, yes, before the season started everybody should have been sleeping on Nico because he was a number 3 in New England? Before the season? No, I'm pretty sure he was on the Texans before the season. This is his second year in, in Houston. Third. Yeah. Oh, he's in Houston last year? Well, no yeah. wonder. He didn't do jack shit. No wonder I didn't know. That was Mills Mafia, baby. I was going to say, who the fuck was his quarterback, bro? What, what, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, let's finish this one out. We were just talking about the Patriots. Two more things to get to from week 18, uh, final regular season week of the say, NFL. Oh, yeah. We don't need to talk about the Patriots game because that literally. I don't need to talk about the Patriots. I just want to talk about the, Bill Belichick. It was the coolest game because it was a snow game. We finally got a snow game and it was a shit finally got a matchup. Good, yeah. Shocker. It typically is because <laughs> was, the Northeast teams suck. All field goals. <laughs> no, there was a touchdown in there. Brees Hall scored one. I didn't pay any attention to it. It was there was mostly field goals, and there Bill was Belichick a, is still under contract in the snow game. <laughs> Bill Belichick is still under contract with the Patriots. Um, I don't know what all rumors have come out. I did see that Bill Belichick said he would be willing to give up player personnel duties or the GM duties uh, to retain his head coaching gig there. There are rumors that he could possibly go to Atlanta. He could possibly go to the Chargers. There are some other teams that should they fire their head coaches that are in the playoffs once their season is done that he could potentially be taken over there. What are you guys' thoughts on Bill Belichick and what's going on uh, with him? Do you think he'll stay at the Patriots? I want to first report it here. If he stays with the Patriots, uh, Bill Belichick steps down as GM and will just have head coaching duties. First reported by me right here, right now. Uh, if he does get traded somewhere, first reported by me as well, he gets Trades. traded to the Commanders for a second round pick, and they sign him to a long term contract. I, t- trading coaches is just such a weird concept to me. That's like, a weird. Think, why is that a thing? But <laughs> you you said the commies, Sean. I I'd be surprised at that. They've already requested two or three interviews with. Uh, for the head coaching gig, uh, I know your your boy from from Detroit is on the list, and there's a couple other names on that list as well. Uh, Bill Belichick was not even been mentioned because they the can't Cubs. mention him right now. He's still under contract with the Patriots. He shouldn't be mentioned by anyone. Stay stay right in New here, England right or just jump off a cliff, Bill Belichick. It's right by Navy. He loves the Navy. He loves lacrosse. It's big right there. Why doesn't he go coach for Navy? He wants to stay in the NFL. Just go watch practices on the weekends or something. Watch him play Saturday. Finally, uh, uh, one story that doesn't really matter, but it could have implications in the next year, seeing is uh, there were a lot of quarterbacks who got injured throughout this entire season, more so than I think we've ever seen. Uh, it was a really weird season uh jake browning backup quarterback turned into starter undrafted quarterback turned into backup turned into starter for the Bengals. 
said in his uh, postseason press conference that he is one of the top 32 quarterbacks in the world. It just so happens that he's behind a top five quarterback in the world. I don't know if he's behind a top I, five I think, quarterback. Uh, I think the Bengals shake it up this offseason. They trade Joe Burrow and they lock up Jake Browning. Because listen, listen, listen. Do I truly think he's top 32 in the, in the league? No. But one team this year decided to try out a guy named Tim Boyle at quarterback who almost doubled uh, interceptions to touchdowns in college. He threw almost double the amount of touchdowns that he had. Oh, fuck, what am I saying here? He had double. <laughs> he had double his interceptions were double the amount of touchdowns that he had in his college career so some james winston in the nfl no james winston threw the same amount of touchdowns as interceptions this dude had double the amount of interceptions i'm not even saying it right yet i don't fucking get it (laughs) but you know what i'm saying he threw a lot of picks in college and some, twice as many interceptions as touchdowns. Twice as many interceptions as touchdowns. Thank there you. we go. Double. Double it up. You're, Double it up. And give it to the next person. <laughs> Double, <laughs> Double it up and give it right over to the defense. That's right. <laughs> uh, but some some bright-minded guy in the NFL thought Tim Boyle deserved a shot at quarterback. Jake Browning, senior year of high school, 91 touchdowns. We've already... I've said that multiple times before. Uh, goes on to play for Washington in college. Now, tell me why his his sophomore season he throws forty three touchdowns, and then his senior season with roughly the same amount of attempts he only's got like twelve touchdowns. Like it's a severe drop off. I don't know if he was like in a weird two quarterback system, like he had to like get demoted to backup or something. But like he peaked his sophomore year in college, <laughs> but. College career, 94 touchdowns total and way less interceptions. So I'm I'm cool giving Jake Browning a shot when they've got fucking idiots trying to employ Tim Boyle in this league. Okay? Like I don't think he's top thirty two, but he's I mean, he's a he's a serviceable quarterback. I mean when he's still got elite quarterbacks in the league like who likes to wear onesies. That was something. That's the most important. That was something. But you know, whenever he... as much airtime as Taylor Swift. Maybe not. All right. That's whenever you still have elite quarterbacks in the league like Joe Flacco, it's hard to move up in the rankings of top thirty two anymore. He gets yeah. a few good ones every year, but Joe Flacco just comes back and keeps doing his thing. Which you were talking about incentives for this game uh last week. Browns already gave him his incentive, even though he didn't play. And I saw lost. that after the fact. Yeah, that. Now, they've given money to someone who is a little bit unsavory of an individual, but that is an organization that cares about his players. <laughs> Joe Flacco deserved that incentive money. Two hundred thirty, two hundred thirty million guaranteed to Sean, and only like what seven hundred fifty thousand to Joe. Nothing. Good for Joe. It was only seventy five thousand, not oh, seventy five thousand. Oh. Seventy five thousand. That that is chump change after you give two hundred thirty million to the nasty man. He, I mean, he's got, uh, he's got more opportunity to make more money in the playoffs. But uh, after that week eighteen performance, guys, Browns are one of the weakest three seeds in the history of the NFL. <laughs> Joe will be back. Amari Cooper will be back. Most of their defense will be back. Most of the defense will be back. I don't want to see the Browns, I'll tell you that. I'd love to see the Browns. If the if Chiefs Browns AFC championship AFC championship game was a thing, I I would be elated. Not not scared of Joe Flacco being elite. No. The only thing I'm truly scared of is Miles Garrett uh uh, hitting Pat on the head with his helmet, but that's, <laughs> that's about it. 
I don't think Pat will say any racist remarks to Miles Garrett during the game. So hopefully we're good there. Well, yeah, because Pat's fair. Yeah. Technically, he can say that. <laughs> <laughs> 